hi everyone we can continue with the answers for lab 8 lab 8 classes and object oriented programming in the first question is asking to write a student class with attributes name midterm 1 midterm 2 and final add a method calculate average that returns the weighted average if you remember it is a really similar question with the lecture first of all i will define a class the name student here and it is initialized function it will take name midterm one midterm term final attributes and where can i point them under just this block and then i defined a calculate average and to be able to create an object i will say s my class name and the informations from question here and if i run it i will take you know same result with the question Question 2 asking to define a rectangle class with width w and height h, add methods area and per perimeter. Right? So, uh, again, we will define a class called rectangle. Again, initialize function with two different attributes. Then I will define area and perimeter functions. Let's run it. And again, just basic i just create an object by using this class then i will print the function names and their results here as you can see it is same and question three create a bank account class with attributes owner and balance add methods deposit and withdraw right so again we will create a class called bank account and it has two different functions behavior it means deposit and withdraw and if you check the question it has two attributes as you can see the first one is name and other one is amount so i will create it here with initialize function then for deposit if the user send any amount it will add this amount to the its current balance if the user withdraw any money first of all it will check it if the user has enough money to be able to withdraw it let's run it and here i create an object by using same informations with the question and i try first of all deposit 50 so the current amount was 100 and after this function it's gonna add 50 more so it will be 150 and here if i want to withdraw 120 the current money will be 30 right because difference between the current and uh, the withdraw amount equal to 30. so if i want to withdraw one more amount it is 200 it will not do it because i don't have enough money right to be able to do it it's checking this if and else condition okay question four Create a book class with title, author, and year. Implement the representation method. If you remember, we were using that one for custom customization for print function, right? So uh, it will take one, two, and three different attributes. Title, author, year. It means initialize function. And representation function here. Once I print my uh, objects, which belongs to the book class, will return this information. So let's create our object. And if I write print and my object, it's gonna return this information together, right? With the same answer question. It is here. You can check it. Okay, question five, create an animal super class and two subclasses, dog and cat overwrite the cpic method in each it is same question with the lecture notes you can check it again i create my super class and subclasses here and i will take inheritance by writing the you know, super class name here and to be able to overwrite i will define one more time cpic function under each sub, uh, subclasses right so if i define a 
object, an object from book class and an object for cat class. And if I call the speak functions, it will behave differently. As you can see, the first one say woof, the second one say meow, right? Okay, and question six, create a vehicle class with attribute brands, create a car class using super to initialize the brand. Again, same question with the lecture. First of all, we are going to create a vehicle class, super class and car class, which is subclasses and inherit from vehicle. And let's see. Okay. Also in question, it is asking more information like you can use super function calls vehicle initialize. If you remember, let's say in the super class, we define brand and we use initialize to appoint this attribute and in the super class it means car class we can call the initialize function from vehicle if you can see here to be able to appoint a value to brand attribute we use super class initialize function and then we will define, we will appoint other attributes under initialize function of subclass, right? So if I run it and if I appoint these attributes to be able to create a, an object from car class here, it is working like this. Question seven, create a shape based class with method array Override it in circle and square, right? Let's check the informations. Okay, after creating classes, we will define two different objects and we will print them and explanation. Okay, they are all formulations. You can do them, right? So let's go there. And first of all, I will create three different classes. The first one is super class. Other classes are subclasses inherit from shape, right? So, and in the first class, I didn't define any initialize function. Instead, I just define a function with area, but it's going to return zero. So it's nothing. And in circle subclass, I define initialize function and I define area function here. Yeah? Again, likewise, same in shape function, in shape class, I define initialize function and area function, right? So let's run it. And then I will create my two objects from circle and square classes. Then I will calculate their area. And question eight, demonstrate multiple inheritance using Walker and fly classes. Create superhero flyer and walk. Again, it is similar question with lecture slides. It was bet instead of superhero. Anyway, we will create uh, three. I think three different. Okay, yeah, three different classes called walker, flyer, and my super class superhero here. And walker and flyer super classes have move function and different behavior right i mean the first move return walks the first second move return flies and my subclass it means superhero inherits from two different classes so it is multiple inheritance here right so after define this we can create an object from my superhero class and if i call move function it's gonna take second class right and question nine write a counter class with methods increments decrements and value here so if i define an object with no number 10 and if i one two two times increments and one time decrements it will return 11. let's do it together okay first of all Okay, I just create one class, it is counter and initialize function here. It is our first 
value which I define, it is 10. And then if I call increments, decrements, and you know the exact value, it's gonna show. It means it will update the value from you know starting point. Let's say if we say 10, it will make it here 11. Let's run it. Then here one more, it will make it 12, and here it will decrease it one and it will be 11. And question 10, last question. Create a product class with attributes, name and price. Write apply discount rate. Okay. We, we, we will have two different attributes, laptop and the price. Then we will apply discount and see what is the you know, uh, exact price or current price after applying discount. And it's going to return also. Okay. Yeah, here we can use this formulation to calculate current price after applying discount, right? So let's create our class here, it's product and name and price our attributes. So I put it in initialize function here and I use same formulation with the question. And in the beginning, our laptop, I just say laptop and it is one, two, yeah, 20 thousands Turkish lira or pounds whatever then I apply 10% discount that it is our current price here 